Hello and welcome to Business Today. I'm Siddharth Zarabi and you're watching Rajneeti. On today's Made for YouTube episode on our channel here at Business Today, I'm going to take up a couple of questions that you certainly have been asking yourself. And those are, when will petrol, diesel and gas prices stop rising? And how far will this rise continue? What has happened so far? So far, the total quantum of the increase in petrol and diesel is 10 rupees. As I talk to you today, the latest increase of 80 paisa has meant that the price has gone up by 10 rupees. In fact, 14 doses of price increases have been administered in the last 16 days. Similarly, for CNG, prices have gone up from the 1st of April to now by 6 rupees 60 pesos. And if you take a look at the whole year, it's actually higher and closer to 10 rupees. But let's focus on petrol and diesel and try and figure out how long will these prices continue to rise. The reason for this daily 80 paisa increase, practically daily, uh, and some of you must be wondering why is it 80 paisa, why isn't it 50 paisa or 1 rupee? Is there some magic behind the 80 paisa number? By all accounts, this 80 paisa is just the desire of the oil marketing companies to keep the daily increase below 1 rupee. In paisa terms, that would have been 100 paisa. This is 80 paisa. So it's like that uh, offer that you see for a certain uh, uh, product somewhere and it says 9.99. So it's not 10 rupees, but it's 9.99 ru rupees and you don't get one paisa back in change. So it's perhaps uh, something to do with marketing psychology. But that apart, it's clear that petrol and diesel prices will continue to rise. There are two research reports that I'm going to quote and cite for you. But before we do that, let's take a listen into what Hardeep Singh Puri, the Petroleum Minister, had to say in Parliament where he compared the increase in India with the increase in gas prices that is happening in uh, different uh, economies across the world, trying to make the point that if you were to look at it from that uh, comparison, the increase isn't that much. Take a listen. Certain uncertainty has been unleashed on account of the disruption in supply lines, which is going to happen depending on the duration and the course that the military operations take. That disruption could get further widened. But let me tell you what has happened to oil and gas prices meanwhile, sir. Because that is something on which many of us tend to comment without looking at the global picture and what this military operation has done. Sir, at the height of COVID, and I talk about March 2020, gas prices were $19.56 a barrel. They went up in 2021 to $60 to $80. On 24th February, when the military action took place, suddenly they shot up to $92, then up to $124, went up to $130. Sir, are we the only country affected by this? I have with me here, sir, and I can still give you the same on gas prices. We have raised the price of petrol by, I think, 9 rupees over 12 or 13 days, when the international prices shot up. Now, I have something, sir. Gasoline at the pump Comparison between April 21 and April, March 22, in USA the increase percentage is 51%. In Canada, 52%. In Germany, 55%. UK, 55%. France, 50%. Spain, 58%. Sri Lanka, 55%. India, sir, 5%. Yes, Our percentage increase is one-tenth yes, of what minister. it is elsewhere. That was the Petroleum Minister. But let's now come back to the fundamental question that uh, most of you might be wanting answers for. And let me say this 
right at the outset there is no perfect answer for this question we don't know till when the oil companies will continue to raise prices just as we didn't know why they stopped at least on the record officially why they had stopped raising prices for close to 5 months uh, we only know that the, this increase started after the election results of the five state assemblies came in and since then the clock has stopped moving we don't know why that clock had been frozen in time for 5 months similarly two different estimates and these uh, are built around the average price of the crude oil the indian basket as it is called crystal research says that uh, there will be a full pass through if a full pass through has to happen of an average 100 dollars per barrel crude oil price then it will mean 9 to 12 rupees increase in petrol and 15 to 20 rupees increase in diesel so 9 to 12 in petrol 15 to 20 in diesel using that average crude oil price there is another report and that one is by kotak institutional uh, equities which has said that and i'm going to quote that number that diesel prices will need to rise by 13 rupees to almost 25 rupees per liter and petrol prices will need to rise by uh 10 rupees 10 and a half rupees to at least 22 rupees per liter at an underlying price of 100 to 120 dollars per barrel so it's all dependent on how global crude oil uh, prices behave we saw there was a significant bout of volatility that came in after the situation in ukraine and currently the indian basket of crude is at 103 dollars per barrel so very clearly uh, the clock hasn't stopped i think there is a uh, 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 another round or a few more rounds of uh, daily doses of eighty paisa that will continue to be administered. We had uh, reported and um, around a couple of weeks back that at that stage the government unnamed officials had said that they are expecting an fourteen uh, rupees increase in total. So with ten rupees, and if you were to take eighty paisa as the guiding sort of a uh, figure that we are still looking at at least 3 to 4 rounds uh, more of price increases but even that won't be logical because and this is the final point i want to make today uh, with you the daily price revision mechanism is linked to the daily movements in what is called the indian basket of crude the indian basket of crude oil comprises the is basically the a weighted average of crude oil uh, sources because uh, we don't produce we import close to 90% of our requirement and we take crude oil from multiple sources including as you would know in the recent days we have increased our purchases from russia which was offering uh, the uh, crude oil at a good discount so the average price of that 103 dollars that i told you is what we are getting currently but daily price movements are also linked to foreign exchange rates and ideally there should be no logic for prices to stop rising or falling that 5 month period was a big aberration we don't know the quantum of increase so if you are someone who is expecting this increase to suddenly stop no perhaps the quantum of the increase may go down and once crude oil prices stabilize and move uh, below the threshold level which is for all practical purposes 100 dollars presently then we can expect some decreases to happen but the biggest move will be uh, if tax rates are changed and as we know mumbai maharashtra has been an exception in this regard where the state government has reduced vat and that has led to a decrease in the price of cng whether it will happen across the rest of the country we don't know but for now it's clear the clock for petrol diesel and gas prices is going to continue to tick tick by tick
and we'll keep bringing you more details as the days goes by if you have thank you very much for watching this video make sure that you like share and subscribe to business today youtube we'll come back with more till then goodbye if you like the video do like comment share and subscribe